Hello, 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 friends. Welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. My name is Wezi Nyaniwa Sosola, your usual host. Today, I've brought you yet another episode in my series, Career and Finances. Already in this particular series, we've talked about four topics. The first topic that we discussed was Ponzi scheme, how I was defrauded of millions of money. Then we talked about politics at the workplace one and politics at the workplace two. The very last topic that we tackled was sexual harassment, sexual coercion in the workplace. If you haven't watched any of this past episode, I would like to encourage you to go back, watch, like, and share any of the past episodes. And also, before we go any further, I would like to encourage you to like this channel, to subscribe, and to share this video. Thanks so much. Today, I would like to talk about bullying in the workplace. You may be asking yourself, is bullying at the workplace a thing? Does it really happen? Bullying is not only a thing for the classroom, for the teens, for the school-going kids, but rather, it's very common among adults in the working space, only that sometimes it's not really talked about. So now we want to magnify it. We would like to elevate it. We would like to talk about it. We would like to bring it out in the open. If you've got any experience, you've fallen victim to bullying before, I would like to urge you to share your experience in the comment section below. Or if you've maybe repented of being a bully, you've been born again of being a bully, just comment again in the comment section below. We would like to learn from your experiences. So bullying in the workplace is a thing. Actually, among individuals, everywhere there are people, bullying does happen. But today, we would like to focus in the context of the working space. Bullying does happen. What is bullying? My personal definition. Bullying is any deliberate action that may cause discomfort to somebody, a deliberate action that may make somebody feel to be less human, a deliberate action that may make somebody to feel well, less welcome at a certain place, in a certain environment, in a certain climate, in a certain setting, workspace, any deliberate action you may do to make somebody feel discomfort, less welcome, that is called bullying. You may be laughing as you are doing that, but it is bullying. You are bullying somebody. Now, having defined what bullying is, what are some of the common causes of bullying? The list is endless, but I've just listed down a few here. The first one is jealousy. Thinking that someone is less deserving of what they have, it doesn't suit her. She's not that articulate. She's not that educated. She's not well qualified. She's not that good looking. Whatever reason that you may have against that person. The feelings of jealousy. Then envy. Wishing it was you who had it. Why not me? Why not me? I wish it was me who had it. I wish it was mine. Me, me, me. Mine, mine, mine. Envy. That's the second reason that I've listed down. The third one, a way um, of punishing a person for a reason known to the perpetrator. Just finding a way of punishing them for whatever reason that you have. You just want to punish. You want to inflict pain. You want the person to know that you are the one in power and you end up bullying the person. The other reason that I've listed down is you despise the person for whatever reason. You do not like their appearance or whatever. You are less appreciative of them. So you are despising them. Those are some of the, are the causes that I've listed down. But as I've said, the list is endless. The list is endless. Who are the most likely perpetrators to bullying? The first perpetrator to bullying in the workplace, an unethical supervisor who may feel threatened or just do not like you. Your presence alone may be threatening them. They think that you are there to take up their position. They think that you are there to outshine them. They think that you are there to score some points. So because of that, they tend to bully their juniors. Someone who has overstayed at a place has a feeling of entitlement. You've stayed for a long time. You've stayed years and years and years at the workplace. And you feel that whosoever you have, because you've overstayed, is subject to yourself. And if they are not being subjected to you, you feel that you should bully the people. 
Another reason, uh, another uh, most likely perpetrator is someone at famous at the place. You are famous at the workplace, and you feel that because you are famous, you've got the backing of whosoever, and you can bully people anyhow the way you want. Someone with the favors from the bosses. So those are the most likely perpetrators. An ethical supervisor, someone who has overstayed, someone who is famous, someone with the favors from above. The list is endless, as I've said. This is just from my uh, life experiences. So, how does bullying present at the workplace? From an ethical supervisor, they may make demeaning comments against you, maybe in the presence of people, criticizing you in the presence of people, making, not taking up your ideas in the presence of people, or scolding you poorly during a performance of praise or for no valid reason and not giving you a benefit of doubt, not giving you room for discussion, or they may decline some of the benefits, deny you some of the benefits that you rightly deserve just because they are a boss and just because they are a bully. Favors from the boss. Filing false reports against you, knowing that you not have uh, room to defend yourself. And from people who have overstayed at a place, they may form cliques, they may form groups, and they backbite, they mama. When you come into their presence, they are laughing, or they stop talking, and so on and so forth. Those are some of the ways through which bullying may present itself. Now, what are the facts on bullying? Some of the facts on bullying. Bullying is abuse of power, using your advantage to disadvantage someone. Bullying is a sign of cowardice. You cannot approach somebody, mano a mano, so you tend to backbite, you tend to mama, you tend to file false reports just because you cannot approach them man to man. You've got an advantage over them because you are known, because you are famous, because you've overstayed at a place, because you, you, you are a boss. So it's just simply uh, the fact it's a cowardice. It's cowardice. You cannot bring a charge fairly against that person and you just want to bully, to bully the person. What to do? Bullies are beneath you, whether be it a boss or whether be it a junior or whether be it a colleague. If somebody finds it that they should bully you, just know that they are frightened, they are threatened with you. So they are beneath you. Don't get bothered with them. Let them waste their time murmuring. Let them waste their time backbiting or doing whatsoever it is the bullies do while you progress with your life, while you progress with your career. Celebrate in the blessings that God has given bullying you. Bullying is a bad, toxic behavior and should be shed off. If you are one of the bullies, please, this is bad, it's toxic. Shed that one off. You'll be more freer. You'll be more happy. Don't be one to cause discomfort to somebody in the workplace. Free yourself from cliques with bullies. If you belong to a group of bullies, free yourself from that. If somebody is being bullied in your presence, Rebuke that behavior. Rebuke it and stop it. If those people cannot stop, free yourself. Don't belong to that clique anymore. Finally, choose empathy. Choose love. Choose not to be a bully. Thank you so much, guys. Stay blessed.